All right, I'm bundled up and uh, ready to go ahead and check things out. Got two days of logistics, but uh, well, uh, I want to start out by just taking you guys out here and seeing what there is to see. I think I've got my, my key, maybe. I don't know. Yes, got the key. Good. <laughs> We're not in the like um, more primitive village, obviously. <laughs> Got Wi-Fi. This is kind of a modern kind of tourist vi village above the Himu traditional village. And as you can see with the little tiny snowman in the background here, I mean, this is the touristy village. It's where they come up, bring people in the summertime and wintertime to kind of just check out the traditional part of their country. It's cold. I, 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 just been out here a few minutes with you guys and the, I could feel the tips of my fingers. I don't have any gloves on. But anyways, it's going to be a fun, fun shoot. I'm waiting for Viv and the camera team. All right, guys, I'm gonna go find some breakfast somewhere. Good morning. Morning, Eric. Morning. This is for you. This is to have a breakfast, dinner, lunch. You all use it recently. So, okay, so I take those over to lunch and back until every till the 16th. Uh yeah, you keep it until all the our team get together. Oh, that's my special that's bowl and yeah, yeah, yeah special, special. Awesome. Good. Very cool. Okay, so this is what we're taking a look at. We're to go and see where the skis are going to be made, and and we're gonna come in off of snowmobiles, which is probably just five minutes over the side of the crest of that ridge. So Vivian, this cow was just born yesterday, and it should be here while we eat. And I think you'll like that. Cook in this area here. Okay. And what is this? You know, this part is only for you know cooking the beef, the traditional ah. beef here. Ah. But you know, uh, like uh, make rice or boil the mm -hmm. water is over there. Oh. The traditional food is this. They use okay. the wood to 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 boil. Ah, okay. December, they killed oh. the, the whole cow and the whole horse, and the, this is the oh. rest of the, the meat. But not much left, huh? Yeah, it is <laughs> the whole winter. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So what we have is in the far distance up here is like the Himu village right about there where we're staying. And then this is Himu village, the traditional village, which carries on behind me. Across the river, what we're looking at right now is the possibility of going up to that peak with horses and that peak with horses, which the X-Trail team has gone up to this peak with horses in January, so that's doable. We assume that they can go up to this shoulder here. So we're uh, taking the uh, traditional horse and sled to figure out uh, some locations to try and get up the mountain. Uh, getting up the mountain is proving to be diminishing by the hour, and we got to figure it out. are at the farthest point that the horses can get now. So we have uh, to that tree line up there, a good hiker probably can get, those little patch of trees, can probably get in about two hours. And then that is probably five hours or so. This is on foot. At this point, cannot get to the top of anything and maybe can hike a little ways up. But this is the kind of slopes we're talking about here nothing epic looking no ridge shots no no epic tree lines so at this point unless i solve this problem we're we're not looking at making much of a ski film so here we have uh the traditional ski making area here and the this is a set of the skis in this area this older gentleman here will make them the problem is they're not really making any right now. 
and they take about a month to make. We have the uh, boards up here curing and getting ready. They said they might be able to take those boards and start shaving them down and shaping them a little bit. That might be the only thing we get to see. And the horse the skin comes from. That is about it. So far it's been, uh, was, was pretty excited. Things were coming together and today they just kind of have come apart. And uh, uh, as I said, this, I think this is one of, be one of my favorite shoots. And if we pull this off in some fashion, this will be the most amazing one that we've pulled off or overcome the challenges. The challenges are mounting today. Um, we can't get up a hill to ski it. We can't find skis to make. Um, it's just getting pretty interesting. Once we got involved, we asked a lot of questions and uh, these questions are starting to show a few holes uh, in things. But, uh, uh, we'll make it, somehow we'll make it work. That's what we do. Somehow we'll figure this out. I thought I'd invite you guys for lunch. It's a working lunch today in uh, Himu Village. And I uh, just got off a Skype with, uh, or uh, a WeChat phone call with Vivian over in Beijing. So do that. I think, as I said to you, we'll do like, if we can get rotation. So while some people are skinning up, we're kind of filming two coming down. So we'll do that around the top of the mountain. We'll figure out pretty quickly who are the camera guys that are kind of keeping up to speed and can. we'll just start prioritizing and using them. We're trying to figure out the logistics of uh, everybody that's uh, heading up on the mountain. I've got about a day and a half left uh, before everybody arrives and it's been quite an amazing day. What, a, what an amazing place. I'm very excited to be here. So, we've come up this tiny valley from the flats down there trying to approach actually the mountain that's behind this this hill here but uh we uh can only get the snowmobiles up to this little bump right there with trees on it sending this fella up higher to see how high he can get he's chasing a rabbit there <laughs> so he's gonna try and see if he can get any lines up there Okay, been left here by my guy. Simply because he's getting really irritated with me for trying to make him go up this mountain. He's working really hard to figure it out, but I'm not sure if we're gonna get it. So I've been uh, trying to get them to take us up there. And uh, I was hoping that we can run, run this ridge line. Yeah, I don't know. Now I'm here by myself. I can't walk it. And those guys seem to be going the opposite direction of me. I wonder what they're doing. Round two of trying to get the, these guys up the mountain. Um, basically just really trying hard to see if we can get these machines high enough up for our camera team. But this is our backup plan if we don't get the chopper. We're expecting a bird, but we just don't know. Finally got the team up here, a little, a lot farther than we've been the whole time. And uh, this is about as far as I can go. And you can see the far point there is where we want to be. So reduced it down to about a two hour trek to that point. It's a heck of a lot better than where we were earlier this morning, which was way down in those trees. We're headed back down. We found the position that we want and it's looking good. We gotta do a little bit of leaning here because we're going on a, a bit of a side angle. Thank you for doing, putting it up, putting us up there. Thanks, appreciate it. We, we went a long ways up and these guys were champions getting us up there 
to where we need to go and we're gonna be able to skin the rest of the way up. So, hey, awesome, thanks. <laughs> I'm pushing these guys to the places they've never been. Uh, things they maybe don't really wanna do. But I think they're kind of getting into it. I think they're kind of getting excited about having the opportunity to go a little farther than they normally do. I'm just trying to do this triage of different routes, ski positions, places we you know we can recon we can recon camera positions, put those positions in. It's it's moving the cameramen around that are tough. That that's a tough bit. Now, none of these guys are backcountry guys at all. The Chinese guys, but they will be after this week. <laughs> <laughs>